is the 2014 probability question three. Two different games of chance can be played in each game. The player spins an arrow. We can see the arrow here lands on a sector. See that there's five sectors in this one and six in this one. So question eight: John played game A four times, and he won eight euro. In how many different ways could he have done this? So we're looking here, we have a 3, a 5, a 0, a 0, and a 6. So we can't use the 6. Has to be a 3, a 5, a 0, and a 0 in some order. So why don't we start with start with 5, then he can get a 3. He'd have to get two zeros. The 3 could be second. The 3 could be third. Or the 3 could be fourth. We start with a three, five could be second, the five could be third, or the five could be fourth. If we start with the zero and follow it by the three, five in that order, we've got zero, three, five, zero, or zero, zero, three, five. And the flip of those two is zero five three zero and zero zero five three. That's ten. It's definitely a couple more. So let's say the three and five are apart. They're together in the other the previous source. So we've zero three zero five and zero five zero three. There are 12 ways. So to spin either arrow once, the player plays three euro. What game of chance would you expect to be the more successful? So we're looking at expected value here. So I'll just do it up beside it here, expected value. So each sector here is a fifth. So we'll start with two zeros. Well, they're gonna give zero. So the first one is just five by a fifth plus six by a fifth plus three by a fifth and we've got two zeros if you want to put them in so that's going to give one five over five plus six over five plus three over five is 2.8 so you're gonna pay 2.8 out in the long run you're taking in three so you're going to make 20 cents profit on game eight uh, on game B, there's a zero. They're all one over six, so we have we have a one, two, three, four, and a five. So one by one over six plus two by one over six plus three by one over six, four and five. That's all going to add up to. You can see one plus two plus three plus four plus five which is 15 over 6, which is 5 over 2, which is equal to 250. So you're going to make 50 cent profit in the long run. So game B here, game B is what we want to be using at the fairground. Game B, and we've got the reason up above for more profit. Part C, Mary plays the game six times, or sorry, she plays game B six times. Find the probability that the arrow stops in the four sector, well, it's one over six, is the probability of success, the probability of failure, five over six. So find the probability the arrow stops exactly twice okay so it's straightforward Benuti trial so she's going to get six goals to get two successes the probability of success to the power of two the probability of failure in this case you have four and two is six this number two it comes from here just to learn off the pattern two out of six two successes four failures just type that into your calculator, it comes out as not 0.2.
learn your Bernoulli trials. That's the easiest question on any exam you'll ever do.